All right, guys, we're going to be making a very chill video today. I was in the middle of something. I was trying to upgrade this PC, and then I realized that, look, since this channel is about upgrading PCs, this is something I want to kind of draw your attention to so that you will not fall into the trap I also fell into and waste a lot of time. At the end of the day, only to realize that this is how this upgrade should normally be done on a PC, you know, like this. This is a Lenovo Think Center M700. And it might come a time, if you have this kind of PC, you might be telling yourself, I think I want a PC that has a hard drive, a HDD hard drive, just like you have there. Right here is a 500 gigabyte HDD. And you might be telling yourself, I also want to add an SSD, you know, to this particular PC here. This PC doesn't support M.2. I mean, you could, there are, there are a thousand and one ways that you could do it, but natively on the main board, you just cannot, you know, <laughs> slot in an M.2 SSD on this thing. I know there are a lot of wizards here on this YouTube street. They do a lot of crazy stuff. They can even go ahead and build an M.2 slot on this thing. I'm talking about normal users like you and I. You do not have the technical know-how, you know, to manipulate this PC the way those gurus we do. You see, there is a guy here on this YouTube street that, that knows how to upgrade every kind of PC that you can ever think of. Can even put in you know, a full profile graphic card on a mini PC, like modify the PC to the point that I'm telling myself, what is, all? but then this is a discussion for another day. This PC right here is a decent PC, ideally, a very strong PC that has everything it takes to go even beyond 2025 because it has an Intel, you know, 6th gen Core i7 processor on board. But that's not the thing we're talking about. It might come to that point in your, you know, you using this PC, you might tell yourself, I think I want to upgrade this PC. I think an SSD needs to be able to come here. And as a matter of fact, you know, there are ports that actually does tell me that I can install, you know, a HDD drive, just like I have there, you know, an SSD drive and even a DVD writer. DVD writer is right here. You might not see it, but I think that's it right here. I hope I'm correctly on the camera, but it doesn't matter. But then, this PC, this was exactly what happened to me. I tried to install, you know, an SSD on this thing here. You see, most PCs that I've ever known, if you want to install an SSD, most times you should be able to slot in your HDD and your SSD, you know, somewhere around there. It's the same for the Dell Optiplex PCs. You just take a look at the, the front chassis or the top chassis or where the, the, C, the, the, the HDD or the SSD should be. You easily see it is marked. So you, you don't need to fight or struggle with these pieces. You know, for Dell, it's pretty much easy to recognize. You know, for HP, you see where you can actually put the 3.5 inch HDD and the 2.5 inch SSD easy. But on this Lenovo PC, for one reason or the other, I had to go through a lot of you know, fighting just to figure out how I should be able, you know, to put in an SSD, a 2.5 inch SSD on this PC. Apparently, I mean, I just couldn't figure that out. I don't know if somebody knows a better way to do it. I will tell you what I did. Perhaps it might also be, you know, helpful for you. All right. I struggled with this PC. I did everything I could. You see, this lock mechanism here, is also something that you should take into consideration because it's not just easy to use any form of, you know, SATA wire cable on this PC. It needs to be at an angle, but we are going to come to that because if you take a look at this, this already is not what came with the PC. I'm going to tell you why I had to buy a SATA wire cable. I'm going to, I won't be able to bring it out. Like I said, it's kind of a relaxed video. If you want me to show you exactly how I did it, I'm going to actually make another video, but just to explain to you, because I know some of you are very smart, you're going to be able to get it. See, it was just not possible for me to put in my SSD anywhere else. And the tricky thing is that it always looks like you should be able to put it at the top right here. If you take a look, there's actually a compartment where it kind of makes sense. You could put your SSD right there, but at the end of the day, you will not be able to put in the SATA cable or the power cable to the SSD because this place right here is so blocked that even if you try to manipulate cables right there, you will not be able to close the PC. If you try to close the PC, I'm just gonna show you. I don't have my top camera here, but just stay with me and you should be able to get what I'm saying. Just first need to close this and then I can exactly show you what I mean, all right? See, if you try to manipulate your way in here and put some cable right there, 
you realize that you are not able to close the PC because the cable is going to be on the way and if you force it too much, you're going to break the cable. This is, doesn't work, all right? And if you try to put the SSD just right underneath this HDD right here, it's the same thing. Every, all the cables are going to be here. It's going to be so tight. If you try to close it, it doesn't work. And there was just no other way. I kept taking a look at this PC. And the only way or the only trick I finally realized or saw worked was for me to actually get you know, a wire power cable just like this. You know, I can actually connect one to the HDD just like that. And the other one, you know, goes to the, the SSD. But then the question was now, where do I mount the SSD? I was trying to take a look. Wherever I put it, it was always one thing or the other. It was just looking so rough. But then I realized that right here, this is the very trick. Right here, there are kind of some perforations there. So I was able to align, you know, my SSD just like that, you know, and then use two screws to hold the SSD just in place. Because the SSD is kind of light, you know, these two screws, it was just enough to hold the SSD in place. And then this Y SATA power cable or whatever you want to call it, I got, I was able to use it as an extension. This is the, you know, the power cable coming from the main board normally to the, you know, to the hard drive. But then because we have now this, you know, Y SATA cable right here serving as an extension, I was now able to connect one edge of the power, you know, one end, you know, this power cable that comes from the main board to this end right here to this extension. And then one comes on the HDD and the other one comes to the, SAT, the, the SSD right there. And then easily that being done, I then went ahead and used an additional SATA cable to connect my SSD also to the main board. Guys, I'm telling you that this thing right here just took me a long time. I didn't want to do this, you know, go by the way of using this extension, but I can tell you for free that there was just no other way to make this work. Of course, I'm open to learning. If you know of a better way to do this without having to use this extension right here, this Y power SATA cable, you want to call it, please, I would love to know. Let me know in the comment section. But so far, I have looked at this system and this is one of the very few you know, small form factor pieces that I will see that, look, before you can actually go ahead and connect an SSD and an HDD, you actually do need an additional extension cable like this. I don't know why that is so, but then perhaps there's gonna be, I don't know, there's even not supposed to be, you know, an adapter that you're gonna get here that would allow you put a 3.5 inch, you know, hard drive as well as a 2.5 inch because this place right here is so small, maybe this, adapter is just unique to Lenovo, but I don't know. But like I said, this was the way I was able to manipulate my way and to make sure that this PC right here has a, an SSD, a 256 gigabyte SSD, as well as a 500 gigabyte HDD. Guys, you might find this helpful. Of course, I know this PC right here, the Lenovo Think Center, M700 small phone factor is in circulation. Don't be deceived, people are not throwing it away. It's not going anywhere. This PC is still going to go in with 2026, 2027, even and beyond. Even though Windows is saying right now, Windows 10, we're going to stop support for it. They are diehard fans of Windows 10. It doesn't matter what Microsoft is saying. They are not going anywhere. They do not have any intention of upgrading their PC because they have come to fall in love with the processor power of the Core i7-6700. And because of that, they are going to continue upgrading their PC if the SSD is, you know, is out of storage, they're going to get a new one and going to keep upgrading it until the PC is going to give up in itself. So you might be one kind of person, you have this PC and you are saying to yourself, how the hell do I, you know, upgrade this PC with an SSD, you know, and still keep my original HDD? This video is supposed to be for you, but then you could also be that person that's saying, I think I want to buy this PC because this PC looks so cute, it looks so cool. It has a USB 3.0, a DVD writer there. Even though it's difficult to upgrade with an SSD, but I still think that using the SATA cable is not the end of the world. I can actually go ahead and get it. But hardware money, where do I get a decent PC like this? You want to go to the hardware money shop, there's a link in the description below. Click on it. You'll be taken to this offer where you will be opportune to buy this PC easy. You know, to deliver to you and you will be glad you did. Until I see you again in the next one, peace.